Our 2018 season finished on a bittersweet note, as we had multiple encounters with hitless bucks. 20s, but um, definitely four and a half years old. He'll be five and a half years old next year, and uh, this is a set that we are really excited. After a successful spring, our focus shifted to farm management. We reduce our camera checks to every three weeks or so with a focus on mineral licks and food sources. For 2019, we employed some new tactics, mainly reducing pressure hunting out of elevated blinds, and not entering the woods unless necessary. It was a banner year for food plots, and our focus this year was on mixes. No straight crops, always combining different seed blends. Overcast and rainy. We're hunting in this Radix blind, so we'll be out of the weather. Over about a half acre food plot. We've got a whole bunch of different mixes in it. Probably not shooting any does tonight. Me and Kayla are both working tomorrow. It's gonna be a buck only night. Our season began on a high note as Isaac had a great encounter with our number one buck that we call the Traveler. I also had some success harvesting a doe we call Big Mama that had been a resident on the farm for many years. Our friends did even better. Dylan Horner killed a 156 inch 10 point on September 30th. And Ryan Cassick shot a 174 inch monster on October 14th. Yeah, look how I have this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Time has come. Because this got noodle whack too. Well, this, this branch ain't ever calm on it, but sure it wasn't. Yeah. This, Dude, this tree got wrecked. That tree got hit. How is it, Matt? Not bad. Uh, purple top radish. Yeah. Turn up. Ranch will be good to go. Turn up. Turn Edible. Up. Turn up. Very soon, the month of November will be here, and comes with it the whitetail rut. <laughs> 